Hello everyone! So today I want to make a video of my painting process and I hope it inspires you a little bit to create your own art. I'm using a reference photo from Pinterest of a flying macaw and I'm making a quick sketch. I'm using a water-soluble pencil because I'm going to be using some watercolors and I can easily dissolve it after. Also in this video, I will be using different media as watercolors, gouache and watercolor pencils, gel pen. I'm using a Van Gogh watercolor paint as a base of my painting. The watercolors was not the first media I started working with. Long time ago, there, I found a group of artists in my town and they were organizing some events where we would gather up and paint and draw. At that time I was only painting with pencils, just regular pencils, for a long, long time. And I had really big problems with the colors. But as the time passed, I decided to try different media different materials and I fell in love with the oil paint but once upon a time I ran out of material and I had a watercolor palette that was offered by my friend and I decided to give it a go in the beginning it was quite difficult because this material this medium is very different from oils I watched dozens of YouTube videos and tutorials on how to work with it. In the end, I developed sort of my own technique, adding the colors wherever I want to put them. You're going to see me going back and forth multiple times on the same areas adding some colors, or adding some shadings. I'm using a water brush here. It's one of my favorite tools for watercolors and gouache. And one more thing that I find very important in painting with watercolors is the type of paper that you're using. There's different kinds of papers. There's hot press, cold press, more or less grainy, with a cotton content they will all provide you a different result. So if you want to try to paint with watercolors, you might want to try also to use different kind of papers for it and figure out what, which one works the best for you. For this and most of my paintings, I'm using Canson XL watercolor aquarel paper, 300 grams per square meter. It's a cold pressed paper with very mild texture, just the one, like I like it. Also, if you want to get into watercolors, you don't need a lot to start. With any new media that I try out, I only get a small set of primary colors. It's yellow, blue, green, black, white, which you might not even need with watercolors. It also helps you to learn to mix the colors, because even if you get a bigger palette, you'll still need to mix certain colors to achieve the best result. For example, in this painting, I'm using three types of red or reddish paint to get the color that I want. If I would have been picking colors separately, I would have rather picked them in tubes. It's always nicer to work with fresh paint and it's much easier to store.
Now I'm adding some shadings into the painting with blue ink. I don't really like using the black so much. I think it's way too contrasted. Sometimes when I'm painting, I get the feeling that you actually might also get that the painting is not turning out very well. In fact, I learned that uh, it's just not finished. If you ever get the feeling that the painting is going the wrong way or you're spoiling it, try to work a little bit longer on it. You're probably going to be surprised with the result after all. And if you completely messed up your painting, you can just experiment and add different media on it or try something that you wouldn't have done on a, a painting you would have wanted to keep. Smaller details are harder to paint with a brush, so I'll probably finish those parts with a pencil. I'm speeding up the process of putting the colors for the background. I also switched my brush to the one that holds more water. I'm not very worried about getting into every single corner because, as you can see, later when it's dry, I pass on top with a clean water brush and get all those corners cleaned up and painted on top. And here's the part where I'm starting to use my gouache because I thought the colors are not vibrant enough and I just wanted a little bit more opacity on some parts of the painting. I'm using Caran d'Ache gouache paint that I bought only in five colors in the beginning. I am quite happy with it. I get a lot of colors mixing up only those three. Well, five actually if you count white and black. And again, I'm passing on all the feathers, getting a little bit more color onto them, a little bit more texture. Then doing some more shading on the tail and on the shadow parts. I'm keeping its paws to paint the last 
probably will do that with a pencil because it's very small on the scale so I probably need something very sharp and thin to get in all those little spaces I already like how the colors are turning out Then I'm using the watercolor pencils to add a little bit more hue to the painting, also some highlights and some shadows. And here's a moment when I start to use some black in very occasional spots just to add a little bit of contrast and a little bit of contour And I'm using the white gel pen to add some highlights to the painting. That will really make all the feathers pop. In the end I decided to use a little bit of yellow color to add some shine to it. It really makes the painting more glowy. If you made it this far, you're a superstar. Please like this video if you liked it and if you want to see more videos like this. Share your thoughts and tips and comments and have a creative part of the day. Bye.